Hi, Andre. First thing I want to look at is your left arm, and then we'll have a look at your body position, your head position, and your right arm. So as your left arm enters the water, I want you to see how it's sweeping pretty far out right here. And we want your arm to actually be a little bit farther underneath your body so that you are in line with the shoulder plane. So essentially keeping your arm underneath your shoulder and then as you rotate through it will clear the hips. So let's keep an eye on that as we move along and also your bubble trajectory. So see how many bubbles you're creating here, which means that you did not go in at a high angle of attack. You went in a little bit flat to catch those bubbles. So we'd like to go in at a higher angle of attack so that you can catch and direct the water going backwards rather than sweeping out and actually catching water rather than air. So see where that left arm is pretty far wide. Your body is relatively flat. So in this position, we want to be a little bit more rotated. Um, I also want you to notice how that right arm is going into the water. Your thumb is leading, which could lead to rotator cuff problems on that side. So we want your middle finger, basically your fingertips, entering into the water first and not letting that thumb lead the movement. Sweeping out, and in this position here, you can see that your head is pretty far forward, right? So we want you directing your head a little bit farther down so that your spine is actually straight. Looking at how that right arm is beginning the movement. You're getting, you're getting a pretty good catch there. You can see the bubbles, but um, we want to pop that elbow so that you can, again, control that water earlier on in the movement. Good position there, good core connection on the right side. Again, we can see your water here going straight down. We would like for that water to be going in that direction with less bubbles. Again, you can see the pretty profound head position there with your head up, so let's get that a little bit farther down to keep the spine straight. Good wrist integrity there on the right side. But as you can see, you passing along, not a whole lot of rotation, and we can really see how wide that left arm is going. And then stopping it right there, you can see the trail of your bubbles like that. So we don't want to go so deep. We would like for that trajectory, be, tra excuse me, trajectory to be a little bit more flat. Let's play this again and look at the back part of your stroke. Again, you can see from your bubble trajectory that the movement is going up rather than going backwards. So we'd like to work on push the pool drill so that you can send the water in the backwards direction. That's pretty good right there. We just want to focus on that maybe a little bit more.